Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 3. This is actually going to be the last episode of The Sims 3 because The Sims 4 comes out in only three days. So what better thing to do in this episode than to basically wreak havoc out in the town considering this uh, this game is going to be pretty much abandoned after The Sims 4 comes out because I'm going to be starting a new series. Anyway, you guys told me, a lot of you told me that you wanted to see Kenny get tortured. I don't know why, you're apparently really cruel people, but a lot of you said that you wanted to see poor Kenny here who obviously has some sort of condition that makes him age really fast, which is bad enough. You guys want to see him die a horrible, painful death. So, uh, sure. Yeah, that, that can work. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this door, and I'm going to lock it to everyone but myself, and now Kenny should not be able to leave. All right, so Matt is up here. He's cooking some food. He's got to get his nourishment because he's got a big day slash week slash however long this takes ahead of him. He dislikes... Kenny Shea, <laughs> his son. Look at that. Can I bring up like a more detailed look at this? This is crazy. I can't believe he hates him so much. But I guess that makes sense if he's going to lock him in a basement and let him die. Hey, Matt. Do you see that person out there? <gasps> it's a celebrity. It's a five-star celebrity. Holy crap. Go greet that person right now. Shit, did he just get into a car? That bitch just got into a car. That is not how we roll. Richie. Richie, what is your problem? Why are you thinking about kids? <gasps> He's a pedophile. We gotta kill him. We got to kill him. That's where you live, huh? In this house over here? Okay. Okay, I'm cool with that. He's got a kid. Okay, he's got a kid. I bet he stole that kid. Okay, let's greet him. We can become friends with him, right? I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna get all like fanboy and stuff and be like, hey, uh, can I have your autograph? We're just gonna make friends. Oh, we're not going to work either. Screw that. We don't need a job. What the boop boop? Sorry, maybe another time. I don't think you have what it takes to impress me. <laughs> I'll show you something that'll impress you, you bastard. And here we go. Yeah, you cry, all right. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. <laughs> I might save you, but I don't know if you have what it takes to impress me, you jerk. Now, where's that Grim Reaper when you need him? Put that gun away now. Don't want anyone to find out that I killed him. <gasps> There he is. Maybe he'll stick around like he did when I uh, killed PewDiePie. After he put PewDiePie in the ground, he went and played PewDiePie's computer for a bit. Look at this kid! Look at this kid over here! This kid just walked through a gate by himself! Holy crap! What is this shit? He's a prodigy. Richie Stryker. There you go, into the ground. No, Grim! Grim. He disappeared. Let's go see what uh, Kenny's doing. Oh, look at that. He wants to sleep until fully rested, but he can't because he can't leave it. <laughs> he also needs to pee really bad. Let me check his let me check his uh his vitals here. Okay, bladder is going crazy. What is it? What the hell did he just What are you blowing kisses at down here, bud? You know you're in a torture chamber, right? Why 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 do you need to be blowing kisses? He's going to pee himself any second now. He's going to pee himself. Those eyebrows. Void your bladder. Oh. Yeah, it's no time to eat, man. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? He just peed out of his asshole and went onto the floor behind him. And that is amazing. Kenny Shea couldn't hold it in any longer and just had a regretful bladder accident. He'll always remember this as a lesson in his bladder capacity. Hey, he's getting old. That kind of stuff happens. All right, we're checking on Kenny again. Kenny is still viewing the, um, the beautiful scenery down here in the torture chamber. Dead ass. Okay, here's my plan. We're going to take Matt's cell phone and we're going to throw a party... There you go. And then we're going to invite everyone we know. I don't know how many people you're allowed to actually invite to a party. Formal attire. Nope, nope, nope. Swimwear. I think it'd be even weirder if there was swimwear. We'll go with a 9 p.m. party tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll get some people to show up. And then we'll, uh, we'll kill them. So Matt's got this thing on his list here where he wants to become friends with Tom Wordy. I don't know who Tom Wordy is. I think I mentioned it in the last, uh, in the last episode. But I'm thinking maybe if we go to Master Controller here, we can just add Tom Wardy as a friend, and we can invite him over, and then we can, uh, we can kill him. Look what I found. Is that him? Tom Wardy. Okay, look at this. Master Controller. We're going to go to uh, Intermediate, maybe? Long-Term Relationship. Okay, by category. And we're going to make him... Well, we can make him our husband and everything. Wow, Jesus. Okay. How about Best Friends Forever? Me and Tom. Shazam! We're now best friends forever. Because I don't give a shit. Holy shit, how did I become a three-star celebrity all of a sudden? Is that because I know a, a, I know a celebrity as well? 
Oh, check this out. Matt actually got a response from his uh, forum post, his inappropriate forum post. I honestly don't see why your response has to do with anything. All you're doing is avoiding the subject and insulting me. Please stop wasting my time. That sounds like every internet argument ever. Yo, what up, Tommy? Best friends forever. Let me get this guy over here and put him in my basement. Because that's what I do with my best friends forever, obviously. Ah, oh, he's about to head out. Call back in three hours. Okay, three hours. That's seven, seven o'clock. That's perfect because the party starts at nine. So I can get him and throw him in there with the rest of them. Kenny Shea was just invited to a party. <laughs> it's not going to go too well now, is it? Uh-oh. Matt just got a demotion because he hasn't been going to work. Can't believe you, Matt. Can't believe you would do this. But didn't I invite Elvira to my party tonight? Why the hell is that bitch having her own party at the same time as mine? Oh, oh shit. There she is. Even though she's supposed to be having her own party, she's here at mine. Okay. I'm going to greet her, and then I'm going to invite her downstairs. That that we got to be careful, because that involves actually unlocking the door. And we had to make sure that uh, our old pal Kenny doesn't escape. Okay, this is going to be a complicated situation. Kenny, you need to get back in here. Matt, you need to also stay in here. But you call people over, so they should be coming now. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, shit. 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 Kenny, don't you dare. Don't you dare complain about those dirty dishes. You really want to clean them up that bad? Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't have a, you don't have a uh, garbage. Never mind. How about we greet this and we invite over. There's way too many things here. More. More. Nope. Um, mm, just, pff, uh, pff. Well... The hell, why can't I invite this lady over? Hey, I have an excellent idea. I have such a good idea. We'll leave this door locked, and we'll go up here, and we'll we'll make this one the locked door. So we'll stand here, right here, so that people can't get out. We'll, we'll go here. Oh, we also have to greet this guy. Okay, we'll greet this guy first, and then we'll go there. We'll call people down. I don't want a business model right now. I am in the middle of killing a bunch of people. Oh, crap. Word isn't floating around town that Matt Shea has had a setback at work. Do you guys really think that I care? Do you really think that I care right now? Because I do not. I do not care about no setbacks at work. Because I will not have a setback here. What is going on, man? I can't seem to call anybody else over. Oh, probably because they're already over. What, if I go here, can I call them over? Oh, people are leaving. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I got a good idea. A good idea. I got to work quick, okay? Okay. You're dead. And we're going we're gonna to shoot this lady. Okay, I got fired from my job while trying to shoot people. That's fine. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shit going on right now. That's okay. Ah, got you. Okay. And she just disappeared. That's how that's how much I killed her just then. She just freaking disappeared on me. Oh crap! Oh crap! The cops are here. The cops are here. Matt, run. Don't listen. Don't listen to the police. Don't listen to the police. No time to listen. No time to listen. You need to shoot. Oh crap. Okay. 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 Look. Look. You need to. Shit. Shit. This guy needs to leave. Look at this. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. Really? You're trying to bring me to jail, but all you got all you got to say is how hot I am? You know what? I've decided that I can I can go to jail because do you remember do you remember what happened down here? There is still three people down here. They're having a great conversation, having a great party. But they're gonna be dead soon. As for Matt, I've got other plans. He can go ahead and go ahead and go to jail if he wants. I'm gonna go back here where all that Grim Reaper shit is going on. Okay, he just killed someone really hard. I'm gonna go to the master controller, intermediate, and I'm gonna add him as a roommate. Shazam. Wait, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to add him as a sim. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's laughing to himself here. He turned into a regular sim. Whoa, what's what's that noise? Oh, another Grim Reaper. Look at that. Cool. We're going to add this guy as a sim too. Okay, one is my sim and the other one is my roommate because I accidentally uh, made this guy my roommate and couldn't change it. Look, he just moved in. They, always remember that they, they decided they were going to enjoy more of their life together. Isn't that great? Can you, uh, can you like, go talk to this guy and uh, greet him rudely? I think that's something that the Grim Reaper would do. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot. <laughs> Seriously? Did the Grim Reaper just flirt with the other Grim Reaper? This is this is weird ass shit. Is anybody gonna is anybody gonna get this dying lady here? Maybe uh I don't know. Put her somewhere. Oh look, they can fight and everything. Declare Grim a nemesis, and then we're gonna just get into a massive old fight. Wait a second, guys. Look at this. Matt's party was awesome, verging on epic. Sims all around town will be talking about this one for years. Hey, remember that party that Matt had where a bunch of people died and uh, two Grim Reapers came out of nowhere and started fighting and getting angry with each other? And uh, several people, I'm pretty sure, were in the basement dying. I don't know if you guys remember that part of the party or not. 
Shazam, it is happening. There is a party going on. Okay, how about instead of having this uh, whole, like, bad relationship going on between the Grim Reaper and the Grim Reaper, why don't we just go ahead and make them, uh, make them, like, best buddies or lovers even. I think that's a good idea. Let's make them lovers. We're gonna make them fiancés. There. Relationship between Grim Reaper and Grim Reaper changed to fiancé. Awesome. Now, can you guys go bang upstairs? Look at this. Look at this shit right here. This is the stupidest thing that I've ever done in The Sims 3, and I've done a lot of stupid shit. And I've probably said that exact same sentence before, but now, now this is the stupidest thing, okay? There's still a dead person over here, guys. When one of you is ready, could you, like, could you handle that situation? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Laughing to yourself? You're supposed to be in the house. <gasps> oh my god! He has a face! Look at this! The Grim Reaper has a face! Oh my god! Jesus. The Grim Reaper just put on, like, bed clothes. I am just tripping out now. That is the blackest man I've ever seen in my life. Okay, are you ready? I hope you're ready. Because the Grim Reaper is about to have sex with the Grim Reaper. Except the twist here is that one of the Grim Reapers is wearing pajamas and the other one is wearing his casual Grim Reaper attire. Oh shit, there's a policeman here, guys. There's a policeman here. What do you want, policeman? He's not here for Matt because Matt's in jail. He's not here for Kenny because Kenny's down there talking to people. So why is he here? Oh, he's probably here for a visit because, uh, because he complimented me and told me I'm hot, so maybe he likes me. <gasps> Look at that! We're acquaintances. We actually have a decent relationship and he just came and arrested me. What is this, man? <laughs> All right, Grim Reaper, it's time for you to take an evil slumber in Matt's bed. Oh, crap, Matt is there and he can't do it. Doesn't that suck? What are this guy's traits? He's absent-minded, grumpy, childish, evil, and mean-spirited. I like it. I think that's a good uh, good collection of traits. Does he have any family members? Oh, okay, just a fiancé with the other Grim Reaper. Meanwhile, at Kenny's place, Kenny is frustrated by the lack of food. But the bikini-clad women are really helping his mood. Okay, so um, I went to check back on Matt. Turns out the, the Grim Reaper number two over here is playing sock puppets with his hands by himself. And also the Grim Reaper number one is just standing up laughing about things. And being evil, apparently. You know what? These guys are really getting like frustrated by the dishes down here. I'm just going to be a really nice guy here. A really nice guy. And buy them a little, uh, a little garbage bin. No, it's a recycling bin. Will that do the trick? How about a great big old recycling bin? Yeah, nope, there's nowhere for him to put it. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do now, Kenny? Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll get you a nice little garbage can for the other side. Are you happy? You can now put your dishes in the garbage can. Oh, wait, maybe they maybe they can't do that. Maybe they, they need a sink, don't they? That's what the problem is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just get rid of this stuff here. I'll get you a sink. Why didn't you just say so? I would have liked the sink better if it was a torture sink of some kind, but I'll I'll take what I can get here. All right, guys. Seriously, are you not gonna do anything in this in this house? Are you really just gonna stand up and do nothing? This guy here has to go. Okay, he has to go. How do I get this guy out of my house? You know what? I'm gonna trigger an age transition on the Grim Reaper instead and just see what happens. Yeah, gonna become an elder Grim Reaper. They're all gathered around to watch while he becomes an. Uh, an, an elder, I guess. Whoa, 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 did you see that? He got hair. So what is he now? What the hell is going on here? I'm going to trigger another one because I'm really confused about what just happened. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. What happens if you trigger one more age transition, guys? Will that kill them? Everybody's laughing and having a good time, but wait. But wait, everything is, everything is bad now. He just transitioned into a ghost all of a sudden. Alright, now can you get out of my house? Oh crap! Oh crap! The Grim Reaper is coming to take the Grim Reaper away. Things are strange, guys. Things are strange. What if we what if we just added him added him to our house? What if we did that? There you go. <laughs> and he immediately goes to crying about it instead. Instead of trying to take him away, he just cries about it. Is that lady still on our Nope, nope, the lady finally got taken away somehow. Good. Okay. I know guys, it's a sad day. It's a sad day. The Grim Reaper died, and then the Grim Reaper came and tried to tried to take him away, and I made him a part of my household, and now he's sad as well. It has descended into anarchy down here in Matt's dungeon. 
Kenny is having problems with bikini clad woman number two, while bikini clad woman number one watches. And now there's a fight breaking out. You know, I don't really know what's happening. I guess this is what happens when people get really desperate. Okay, it's been like 12 hours since Matt's killed anybody. I'm really thinking that this paper boy is going to have to go. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit, the, the Reaper person is here as well. We can get them both in one go. Quick, Matt, hurry. Okay, Matt. Okay. Hang on. Ah, that ought to stop her from taking your shit. And what about the paper boy? The paper boy got away. Damn it! W why didn't you die? Yo! Yo! Shoot her! Why won't she die? She just... She refused to die! I can't believe it! I don't care what anyone else thinks, you're hot. Says the Grim Reaper as he cries about the death of Grim Reaper number, uh... What number was that? Number two, I think? I think he's number three, or one of these guys is number three. I don't know. This is so awkward. Okay, now Kenny is starving. He has 23 hours until he's gonna be dead. I'm thinking before that happens, we should probably take out these guys up here, because as you can see, they're kind of just uh, standing up there doing nothing and pissing themselves. I don't know why. I don't understand why they don't have autonomy. They, they won't do anything by themselves. I think you can probably get them to like go to sleep if you tell them to, but they won't actually do it um, by themselves. There we go. Okay, we'll get you out of bed because we're going to shoot you. Matt, Matt, stay in the room. Stay in the room. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Where is everybody? I'm gonna zoom out a bit. There we go. Okay, shoot you in the face. There we go. And yeah, 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 I get it. He's gonna die. And we'll take this guy and shoot. Yeah, why are you cheering for that? What's going on? Eh, there. Please die. Uh oh. Uh oh, another Grim Reaper is here. What are we gonna do? Oh, and we got someone else dying as well. Okay, how about we not add this guy to our family this time, because we got enough Grim Reapers going on here. So, uh, Matt just called a repairman to come and have a look at his sink, but you know what we're gonna do here. And... gotcha! Or did I? Did I getcha? Oh, crap, I might have missed. Okay, hold on, one second. She's unclogging my toilet. Point blank range should do, right? Eh, there. Yeah, okay, she's got a headache. And she passed out. Now she's sticking out of my house. Let's see how that looks. Yep, totally, totally inconspicuous. What the hell? What the hell? She just got back up again. Oh, this is this is not cool. Don't you ever, don't you ever get back up again? Ah, oh, there we go. Stomach ache. That oughta that oughta do it. See ya. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh shit. Oh crap. Who the hell is Heinrich Shimmy and why is he floating around this house? I don't even remember this guy. Oh well. Okay guys, the moment we've all been waiting for is almost here. We've got 51 minutes until Kenny is dead. Come on Matt, hurry up. You gotta get here. It's almost over. He's got 20 minutes. Okay, we're here. We're here. Don't die on us. We've got 10 minutes. We're gonna get over here. We gotta say our goodbyes to Kenny. We gotta give him a friendly... Let's, let's cheer him up. Let's cheer him up before he dies. Come on, Matt. Hurry up. You don't have much time. Kenny is going to be dead in seven minutes. Kenny. Son. Son slash grandpa. <gasps> he refused it. He refused to be cheered up and now he's just going to die alone. Kenny. Why? And that's it, I guess. That's I guess that's how it ends. Okay, now that that whole ordeal is over, there's only two people left. I'm not really in the mood to wait for them to die, so I'm just going to finish them off myself. There we go, and bam! After contemplation, Matt has realized that what he does will have an unimaginable impact on all the people that he's loved. Most of them who are now dead, and Matt decides that there's nothing left to do but to take his own life. I don't know how this is going to work, he just put his eyes into the back of his head, and uh, now he's holding his stomach. Good night, sweet prince. I guess I should just let this one take its course, guys. There we go. Matt is turning into fairy dust. And now Matt's a ghost! The pink ghost. Isn't that handsome? It's a sad day, guys. After everything that's happened... Oh, they're shaking hands! Good. Good. I guess that's a good thing. And down he goes into his little, uh... container full of ashes. And the Grim Reaper is gonna read a book. After a long day of being the Grim Reaper, guys, sometimes you just gotta sit back and read a book. Anyway, guys, this is actually the end of the series for me. Um, Matt is apparently a ghost, but he cannot actually interact with anything, so don't ask me what the hell is going... Oh. 
Your last sim in the household has died, but the town lives on. Just choose an existing household to play. Create more sims or live in another family from the library. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think you can really replace Matt, okay? But anyway, guys, I would just like to thank you so much for uh, for watching this series. Uh, I think it was a good series. I really enjoyed making it for you guys, and I really hope that you all will come out and uh, watch my Sims 4 series. I'm hoping it's going to be just as good and or better. Thank you so much for all your support, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.